ladies and gentlemen, Aditi Ghosh once again on Innovo Revealed. This is a channel primarily on numerology but in today's vlog I'm going to be talking about handwriting analysis for a change. As a matter of fact, I had started this thread some long time back and I have covered a few topics like what do the slants in your handwriting mean, what do margins and spaces when you write, the margins and spaces indicate something, what do they mean and what do the letter formations mean and you can check all those logs on the same thread uh, in the description box below where I have provided all the links. As a matter of fact, I have made an entire playlist of the topics related to handwriting analysis. This one is an addition to that. In this vlog, I'm going to primarily discuss about the baseline and the pressure in your handwriting. As a thumb rule, whenever you're analyzing somebody's handwriting, you have to make the writer write on a plain paper because if the paper is already ruled or it has guidelines, you cannot analyze the baseline at the first place. So when you see the writing of a writer on a plain paper, the writing as a whole could be going in either directions. It could be having an ascending baseline, a descending baseline, an even baseline or a bit wavy or a forced kind of a baseline. The baseline indicates the attitude of a person. Say suppose the baseline is ascending or going uphill. In that case it indicates optimistic attitude. A person with an optimistic attitude or in an optimistic mood would not get discouraged with little things going wrong. In case the baseline has a sharper uphill slant, it indicates too much of optimism which can also lead to poor judgment because when you are too optimistic, you simply fail to gauge the upcoming danger. Now, say for example, if the writing has a baseline going downhill or a descending baseline, in that case, the person would be having a pessimistic attitude. A person with such an attitude would always see the dark clouds first and always hesitate to proceed with a new idea unless he makes sure that all the details are in order. There can also be a possibility of a sudden drop in the end of the baseline like this and in that case it means temperamental depression. The person may have sudden changes in his mood and will not be predictable at all. Such people may as well be having suicidal tendencies. You can see this in the handwriting of Adolf Hitler and no wonder he committed suicide. If the baseline is even, it shows level-headedness of the writer. He is neither too optimistic nor too pessimistic and is able to control his emotions well. I'd say all the factors of the writing have to be analyzed before we come into a conclusion. We have to see the slant, the word formations, the pressure and all the related aspects. I've covered a few lessons on handwriting analysis in my previous logs and you can find the links to those logs in the description box below. Okay, now let us come to the forced baseline. What is a forced baseline? A forced baseline is a bit wavy, like the writing could be going upwards and then pulled down again, again going upwards and pulled down again. And this can show that the person is using some kind of a guide and is consciously trying to control his handwriting. And this means that he is consciously trying to control his moods and doesn't want it to get out of hand. The other scenario with the same kind of baseline can be that the person can be having variable moods at the same time, sometimes optimistic, sometimes pessimistic. Such people can have varied interests and can quickly get bored with routine activities. Their mood changes as per the situation, their mind is always fluctuating which makes them hard to get to know. However, we must not jump into conclusions just by analyzing the baseline. There are a lot of aspects in a person's handwriting and we must analyze all of them at a point of time to come into a conclusion. The next aspect that I am going to talk about is the pressure that a writer exerts while writing. The writer can be putting light pressure, medium pressure or heavy pressure while writing. 
When the pressure is light, the writing appears to be softer. It indicates a person with idealistic and soft temperament. This person would be reserved and sensitive. He would have an introspective kind of an attitude and would be concerned about maintaining good relationships with people. This person may not be easily taking up leadership positions. A person who puts heavy pressure while writing, you see when the pressure is very heavy, you find strong impressions on the back side of the paper and the writing on the paper would also appear to be very dark. So first of all, very heavy pressure means the person is more assertive, active and would not mind leadership positions. This person is very passionate. Say the writing has beautifully placed letters and strategic placement of pressure on some letters. In that case, the person is very passionate as well as he cares for beauty and romance. With heavy pressure, a person can also be very domineering, especially if he puts more pressure on the horizontal strokes. A person putting more pressure on the horizontal strokes is always always more domineering. A person with heavy pressure on the vertical strokes would also be domineering but he would be domineering outwardly. Inside he would be a softer person as compared to the person who puts heavy pressure on horizontal strokes. Now let us come to medium pressure. A person who exerts medium pressure while writing is more flexible neither too sensitive nor too assertive he judges the situation better and adapts as per the situation socially this person will be better understood and liked by more number of people around him now there can be a fourth category in this that is if the pressure is uneven uneven always means fluctuating it means lack of consistency in the temperament it means fickle mindedness and indecision a person with uneven pressure while writing may suddenly react and then the fizz may quickly die out also if we have a writing that has irregular pressure in a lot of areas and the writing is also very messy or mud like there are strong chances that a writer could be very insensitive such a person would not be cooperating easily with you it is important for you to know and for me to tell that what I am talking about in my logs regarding uh, this handwriting analysis is graphology. A graphologist is not necessarily a handwriting expert but could be. A graphologist does what you know, he is identifying the uh, characteristics of the handwriting and through that, he's trying to read the qualities of mind, whereas the handwriting expert would identify uh, the similarities between two specimens and come to a conclusion whether the two specimens are being written by the same writer. So it is not necessary that a graphologist is also a handwriting expert. I uh, personally really enjoy reading people's minds through various methods through graphology, physiognomy or numerology which I'm really good at and uh, I'm sharing my entire learning process with you all so that you too can make use of it in your day-to-day -day life. So if you've liked watching the log and have found it to be useful please hit a like to share the event you can share my log and do me some good to stay connected with me you could subscribe to my channel or like my FB page the link to which is provided in the description box below thank you so much have a nice day bye bye